Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Craft World Live. It's a Friday, it's the first Friday live of 2021. I am right, aren't I? That is the right one, it must be. It must be, we haven't done one since Christmas, it's really exciting. So today we have the fantastic world of Sizzix and we have brand new chapter one dies. And not only is that exciting enough, we have Pete Hughes with me demonstrating live from the Sizzix studio as well. We'll pop over and say hello to Pete in just a moment. Um, but I need to let you know that you need to be commenting on this, whether you're watching on Facebook, whether you're watching on YouTube or on Craft World, drop us a comment because immediately you are then in with the chance of winning one of three bundles of these brand new Sizzix Chapter One products that we're going to be giving away. In fact, Pete is also going to be giving away some fantastic demonstrations that he's doing and a little birdie called Pete, told me that he may be personalising them as well. So make sure you're commenting. If you're commenting on Craft World, can I just say pop your name in the comment as well? Because we do get your handle otherwise. And I'm sure you'd prefer to have something coming from Pete with your proper name on. So we do have these prizes. Make sure you're commenting. We do have lots else going on on Craft World as well, which I will be talking to you about in a minute. Shall we quickly pop and say hello to Pete, first of all, because he's standing waiting in the wings. So good afternoon, Pete. How are you? Good afternoon, good afternoon, how very well, very well, very excited to be here, of course, naturally, um, always great to be on Craft Day, yeah, we've got lots of fun, we've got so many demos, there's so much to pack in, but we are going to show off all of these lovely new products, they're all from Tim Holtz, now last time I was on, it was all the PQs, he's kind of the pound stretcher version of oh, Tim Holtz, no. but yes, it's all Tim Holtz this morning, yeah, get away with you. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna have loads. Of yeah, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to come back to myself for a moment, explain a few things, and then we'll be back with you, ready to craft. Oh, yeah. Thumbs oh, yeah. up! Oh, there yeah. we go. We love that. <laughs> So I need to tell you about a few things. At the moment, the chapter one dies that we're talking out, brand new from Sizzix. As Pete would say, fresh off the boat. So they are literally making their way to our warehouses. That means you are able to pre-order on Craft Stash. Hopefully we will be sending them out from Monday next week. So it's not as if you've got long to wait at all. We also have another offer for you talking about Tim Holtz. It's his birthday this week. Congratulations, happy birthday to Tim. I would sing, but really you don't wanna hear that. So we do have a special offer on some selected Tim Holtz products. That's dyes, that's inks as well. You just need to pop in the code Tim15, that's for 15% off. And if you want to check up on that, go to craftstash.co.uk. That is in one of those banners at the top of the website. So make sure you're sharing, you're tagging all of your crafty friends in the comments as well so that they can see this feed. If you're part of craft groups, please make sure you hit that share button into those groups as well as on your page. Make sure everyone can see because Pete, I know, always does fantastic demonstrations. You don't want to miss these. Shall we go in for our first demonstration? super quick we've wasted no time in getting to him I'll let you take it away Pete and let us explain let you explain exactly what chapter one's all about okay well chapter one uh, many of you may know many of you may not but we tend to split our releases into chapters uh, so it's chapter one two three four throughout the year this is some some of Tim's chapter one collection. There's a lot more besides, so go to the Craft Stash website and check out all the others. When we say they're literally off the boat, you may hear some noises from the next room. We're actually next to the warehouse. They are unloading these dies. I'm not kidding, they are unloading them as we speak. But we're gonna start off with one of the most spectacular butterflies I have ever seen in my life. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Perspective Butterfly. I hope you're getting that. I hope you're yep. getting a sense of how big that it is, is amazing. how detailed it is. That is stunning. Is one, isn't it? Oh. It is stunning, isn't it? Now, Tom's done all sorts of butterflies down the years. Big, small, detailed, plain. Oh, there's nothing plain about Tim's work. Oh, incidentally, it was, it was Elvis's birthday today, and I think David Bowie's. Oh. But top of the list, of course, comes Mr. Holtz, closely followed by my Auntie Carol. Oh, happy birthday, Auntie Carol. So there you go. <laughs> happy birthday, Auntie Carol. So I'm just going to run this through. Now, I'm cutting, in case you're wondering what I'm cutting, it's actually Sizzix stencil film. Ah, I've got some. Now, this is a wonderful... You got some sense of all I do there? have some, and I was curious how, how I use it, so I'm really glad you're demonstrating well, this. Here you go, because what it is, it's a, it's a very smooth film. 
and it's great if you're using your dies. Now, the butterfly that I cut, you could use that as a mask. So you could attach it to card and ink over the top. But because of its smooth surface and because it's thin, it's perfect for inking techniques. And there's no drag. That's why we came up with this smooth comb. So there is the, that's what we want. We want the stencil just okay. now. That's the part that we want to be working with. And this is a twofer. We are going to do a couple of different demos. So I've applied my stencil film to this card just ready. You see, I've drawn a line down the center. The reason for which will become apparent very, very okay. soon. And I'm digging into my pocket. I knew that. Thank goodness I brought my glasses. Right. So let's get some distress inks. And I'm going to start off with the lovely shaded lilac. Now, I know we talk often about our favorites. Um, this happens to be one of my, at the moment, I go through fits and starts with different ones, but there are certain blends, I think, that I favor at certain times rather than the individual colors. And shaded lilac and peacock feathers is what's doing it for me at the moment. Lou, that that's uh, where I'm at. Beautiful colors. That's stunning. I'm just watching. I'm just. Yeah, I'm they, being gross. Sorry. Really I've gone quiet because I'm just mesmerised by what you're doing straight away, and I'm loving that stamp in the corner. Oh. I recognise that from our last live as well. The, the, yes, the stamp. I was. I wasn't. This is all about Tim, so I wasn't going to put myself no, up. But the, yeah, the stamp is actually. That's one from from my collection. I did have a look on the website to see uh, if there were any left. The majority of them are sold out. So if you are interested in the stamps, I suggest you get across there. Fairly sharp. -ish. Yes, they do go very very. So I'm coming in now. They are gorgeous. Colors. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased to hear that as well. We had a great show, didn't we? It was really good fun. It's last always time. fun with UP, even when we do our little test calls. Oh. That's, it's just as fun. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, we're, we're quite concerned, the two of us, aren't we? Because we have um, we have a tendency to gab. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, we can't um, just do a two-minute call. It's not. <laughs> we can't. We can't. We, we, we have to get on. This is why we're here. We're here to craft. Exactly. Hopefully, we're here to inspire. But but one of the most important things, what I want to show people is how easy this is. Because I appreciate that not everybody, people might be looking for the first time. They might, a friend said to them, oh, check out Craft Stash. If you want to get into crafts, paper crafts, whatever it is, go on Craft Stash Live. You'll find out everything you need to know. So sometimes you want to do things that are inspirational, sometimes aspirational, but most importantly, achievable. Yes. Now, what I've done here, I've spritzed it. With some That's amazing. Water. That's doing, it's starting to look great, isn't it? But I'm going to put that to one side just for a second. And I'm going to let the water do Can I just ask its you a work. question uh, about that water? Of what course. paper have you inked and spritzed on there underneath the stencil film? Okay. Right. Uh, everybody, everybody has their personal favorites. Uh, this, this is a 300 gram white smooth card it is important that you get the right card for this i don't use a particular brand um but this one i get it's actually from a printer suppliers that i get oh, okay. my, it's a really it's a it's a really good weight but it's 300 okay grams, right so look out for the heavier which, weight which is much yeah you want to you want to get the right weight you, so 300 grams about the right weight but it needs to be smooth as well because you need to be able to apply these inks and you need the water to sit on the surface uh, and do and work its magic now i'm going to be coming in from the top again so this time now think of think of kingfishers oh yes and look at the peacock feathers alongside this orange the orange is spiced marmalade that is another lovely blend and that is the colors that you get on a kingfisher um and it's an unlikely blend you wouldn't necessarily have put the two together but and that's the beauty of distress things just play around just find the ones that work for you and this one twisted citron Wow, it really, really pops out, this one. It really does. It's so zesty. That is gorgeous. Um, no I love those intended, colors. Obviously. It, it's nice, isn't it? It really is. I'm, I'm going to do something else now. I want to take the Twisted Citron, and I'm going to rub that onto my craft mat. At the same time, I'm going to take the Peacock Feathers and put that alongside. So I've transferred something onto the mat before spritzing them. Now, that's activated them with the water. I'm going to take, this is just a palette knife. I'm going to pick up some of the darker mm -hmm. color, the uh, peacock feathers, and flick it in place. And this is a great way. It's a great little tip. It's a great way to make this, what is often a random technique, quite accurate. So you can get them where they want. Now, if I move my thumb back, I get big splatters. If I move it there, I get small splatters. Right. So there you go. That's Pete's tip of the day. 
And then we'll take the green as well. And we'll splatter that over there thus and take maybe some of the peacock feathers again. So again, I'm going to leave that. We'll go back to our original cut and I'll just reach down and get some of my kitchen. I think kitchen paper has become one of these go-to ubiquitous craft must-haves. Everybody's got to have a bit oh, of kitchen paper on the side. Yeah, I've actually installed a kitchen Is roll holder in my craft room. <laughs> In your craft room. There you go. Well, there you go. Proof if it were needed. Absolutely. Now, I'm sure everybody's nodding along with that. So let's pull off this um, stencil film. Remember the our first card? So wow. we did all that. And look at now. I want you to see how crisp these edges are. That is the beauty of stencil film. It's only about 90 grams in weight. And that means that when you are running your inks over the top, it doesn't pool around the no. edges. You get that. You get that lovely. You get that lovely. Uh, crisp edge there. Crisp, clean edge. So I'm going to cut that down to size with my craft knife. Now, that that could work by itself. However, what I've done in the blue pizza styley <laughs> is what I made earlier. Oh wow! Here's a black butterfly, which I cut, and I'm actually because we're using the same die we get perfect registration. So I'm now reaching down to get my um, high-tech spray booth. <laughs> Shush, uh, everyone who want one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, yeah, the, the 9.99, no, I'm kidding, of course. Um, but yeah, I tend to use spray adhesive for things like this because I don't get it. When you're working with something detailed, when you're working with something fine, the last thing you want is blobs of glue spoiling your work. So I'm gonna place that down thus. And I'm going to take a pair of scissors. Oh, no. Which are <laughs> that is... Tim holds scissors. I have to say, sorry, that is the most beautiful butterfly dye I think I've ever seen. Well, coming from you, that is testament indeed. Uh, it, isn't, it, isn't it gorgeous? It's but it's not until you see it like that that it really pops out and you really get a sense of how gorgeous it is. Um, and I've got a few samples using this dye, which I shall share with you in a second. So that's card number one. We put that onto some Sizzix uh, Purple Dusk cardstock, which is in the Sizzix car pack. Now, I'm going to go back to the other card, which I've let dry. I've let the water do its bit. We've spritzed onto there. And I think at this stage, I'll take my heat tool, because the last thing you want to do is apply things yeah. to a damp card. I'll take my heat tool. This is the Sizzix heat tool, which is, which is your speed. Um, but I'm working currently on the highest speed. But you and could leave we'll that to air dry for the same effect. Side. Very much yeah. so. It's it's great. You know, we've got lots of shrink plastic. We've got embossing powders. Uh, you know, for doing your delicate watercolors as well. So there we. This one, obviously, this is a white butterfly which I cut earlier. And again, I'm going to reach down to my high tech spray booth. I believe these spray booths are sold out on oh, the website. Oh nice. So you can't, I think, I think we priced them too low, to be honest with you. <laughs> it is a top quality cardboard. Um, I hope nobody, <laughs> I hope nobody thinks I'm being serious. Um, I really do. So we're going to pop this butterfly. I know they're not, because I know how smart the craft stairs are. Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't be on craft stairs. Exactly. So there we are. Exactly. <laughs> so let's trim that down to size. There we are. There's our butterfly. Let's take it little sentiment and it, that is it to fly I, I, that is amazing and that's is from one, one of demonstration Tim's... Pete yeah that, so we got two we got two for one the demonstration shows you wow we have indeed but let's take a look at some others now that one that's using like a faux embossed effect where I attached cream card to cream card mm -hmm. and inked over the top Amazing. with a bit of spritzing. And finally, for the full on Tim Holtz grungy effect, again, I've used the butterfly partially. We've dragged some acrylics over there. Bit of fun. So, yeah, lots of versatility. Great, great butterfly. Really oh, is cool. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Pete, for that demonstration. Well, two demonstrations in one there. They Two are beautiful. Yeah. I will give you a few moments now to get yourself cleaned up and set up for another one. Um, okay. And we're going to be sending you some winners' names, aren't we, at the end? We Yes, indeed, yes. So yes. we'll sort Fantastic. that out at the end. Fantastic. Okay, lovely. We'll see you in a few moments. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's amazing. I've actually forgotten what I'm supposed to be saying because I was too busy watching Pete there. Um, but you can absolutely be winning one of those cards. Pete has said, a little sneak peek, he may well be personalising things as well. So please make sure you are commenting, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube or on Craft World. As long as you're watching live, you can comment and we will pick winners at random. Three winners, that is. You'll be winning a selection of the brand new Sizzix Chapter 1 products but also a card from Pete because he's that lovely and very, very talented. I mean, how quickly did he pop those two cards together? They are stunning. So you can see all of the Chapter 1 products over on craftstash.co.uk. They are on pre-order, but only until the beginning of next week. So don't worry, you don't have to wait for long. We also have Tim Holtz goodies, many of those dies and the inks. That's the, uh, not the brand new products, but the older products. They're on offer because it's been Tim's, is it Tim's birthday today, Pete? I'm not sure if he's listening. Uh, well, yeah, apparently so, yeah. Apparently so, yes. <laughs> so today, but... I know how old he is, I won't say. He might not want me to want people to know. <laughs> but there's 15% off for Tim's birthday. So um, just pop in the code TIM15. You can see the banner on craftstash.co.uk to explain all of that and take you to those products as well. We have lots more going on as well. I'm going to show you some new products from Craft Stash in a moment, but I need to show you a few things that we've got from Sizzix also. These are essentials that we have in stock a lot of the time. So come down to my desk. Let me just switch the view up for you. So one thing that I absolutely love is the card stock from Sizzix. So we have here the what I call the playing card stock, but it's textured, the beautiful colours. I have got here the neutral colours and we've got all of these rainbow colours here. These are all available on Craft Stash. We have the opulence as well. Now, I need to show you these because when it comes to mirror card, I am in love with these. The reason being that these opulent packs, they have the matte the matte uh, mirror card. It's not a mirror though. I don't want to call it a mirror card. The shiny card, the matte one in there. So very often I will use these. There's silvers, there's golds as well. I've got the ivory and the charcoal versions here. But you'll see what you get inside of these packs. So we have various different finishes here. We've got the beautiful glitter. Now this is a no shed glitter as well, which is really essential. Imagine that butterfly being cut from that. It would look absolutely stunning. We then have the mat that I was talking about. So you have a sh slight sheen on it, but the most beautiful finish. In fact, that charcoal almost looks as if it's got a lilac tinge to it. By the way, everybody, thank you for your comments. I will be saying hello to a few of you in a moment, reading out some names in just a second. We then have the brushed metal there as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. That is the mirror. Now that is a high shine. You can see my face. I apologize. I'm going to get rid of that really quickly. You can see my face and all my camera workings in there. And then we also have the pearl, which has this slight shimmer. They are gorgeous. That's just one pack. So there's lots of different colors available. This is from the world of Sizzix. There's lots of other essential tools and materials that you can get from Sizzix. But today we are looking at the chapter one, the brand new products. Let me bring you back to myself. Now let's say a quick hello to people while Pete just finishes getting ready. So um, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Hello to Samantha, Samantha Butler. I apologize, I'm getting names wrong already with the first one. Uh, hello to Val, Val Davy has said she's got the rose gold opulent paper and she says it's gorgeous. Jane Fisk, um, Tracy Bantoft. Tracy, I have to say a big thank you to you because I see you so much on social media, liking and commenting on things, so thank you. Um, we've got Elaine Jasper, we've got Joe Crafty, which I love that name, I really hope that is your last name, really, really is your last na name. We've got um, Craft E Makes, I don't think that's your real name, but hello, thank you for joining us, thank you to everyone. Make sure, all of you who are commenting, you are in with a chance of winning. Make sure you let us know your real name. If you do have, if your account name that shows up isn't your real name, please make sure you comment with that, because if you are chosen as one of our winners, Pete needs to know your real name to do a little bit of personalization. Now, Pete, are you ready for us to come back to you for another demonstration? Yeah, I think so. You didn't seem very sure. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I am. I'm absolutely ready. Yeah. Fantastic. Go ahead. 
Okay, well, we've got, again, it's another two for, we're going to do two for one. Hey! So, but we want to show you something, thank you, we want to show you something quite mixed media, and we want to show you something really crisp, clean, and simple. And in doing that, we're going to look at three different dies. Now, apologies, I don't have the actual package dies to hold up, neither does Lou. The reason being is, as I say, they are being unloaded as we speak. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to talk about Wildflower Stems number three. There are two oh. sets previously, which you won't be surprised. Now, if you love these wildflower stems, you're going to love this new set. They all work together seamlessly because they're all stylistically similar. Mm -hmm. Now, that's wildflower stem number three. Gorgeous, gorgeous set. Very Tim Holtz signature there. Then we've got an impresslet. Now, an impresslet die both cuts and embosses, and it's a 3D sink wow. folder. And one of one of my favorites, I love I love an alphabet. And we talk about personalization and we talk about making things special and bespoke. Yes. With an alphabet like this, you can do that. There are eighty characters there. Oh. So there are multiples of different letters. Um, so there are three O's, for example, there are four E's, there are two M's. So everything oh, you need perfect. and it's a classic style, really easy to get lined up. And I know that's the concern of some people. Lou, I know you are the queen of hand lettering. So you know how hard it is to line these things up. Yes, you really absolutely. do. But this one is very, very easy. And we will show you exactly why. So I've been talking too much. Let's get on with it. Let's have a look. And we'll look at some lovely samples as well at the end of that. Now, I'm going to start off with my Impresslet embossing folder. And what I'm going to do, I'll take some water and spritz. So I'm going to spritz lightly onto both sides of the card. There's okay. a good reason for that. And that reason is when you're using 3D embossing folders, the card comes under a lot of pressure. So rather than have these fibers split, we want them to stretch. Right. That's what the water does. It also gives you a much cleaner and crisper emboss all round, and it really, really brings out that fabulous detail. So let me bring my machine back in, my lovely fold away. And when you're using one of these, um, you actually only use one cutting plate and you put it directly onto the base platform. So we'll bring that through. Now, with 3D embossing folders, it's always good to run it through twice. I don't know why. One of the reasons it expels the water, but it does seem to give you a more even crisp okay. emboss. So let's put that to one side. And now I'm gonna take a piece of black card and I'm actually gonna die cut a couple of these wonderful wildflowers because I want folks to see just how beautiful they are because sometimes sometimes it only needs to be a silhouette yes sometimes you don't need to add color but the color is in the background and the silhouette and the delicacy of yeah. these dyes really does the job I for have you. a thing for silhouettes so, I must admit do you really <laughs> I really do I think a lot of people do because having a black silhouette is stunning you know if you use the right colors underneath absolutely it, it really is and it's a classic classic image so we'll take that out turn that over here are my two die cuts you can see how clean and crisp they are no need for my die brush with these so we'll pop that one out wow. and finally this I this lovely one here so those. Great results, very, very delicate. I think when you see them like this, they're far more delicate than it suggests from the actual dyes Definitely. themselves. Um, so there we are. But I'll put those to one side. You, uh, you don't want to watch me popping out bits of die cuts because oh, that's not know. why I we're here. I can watch you all day, Pete. <laughs> oh, bless you. Do you know what? We said we might run over. We may well just do that, you know. That's fine. But we no, no. Mind. I think we'll be. I think we'll be good. But as long as we're having fun. Now, Absolutely. my Impresslet, this is the one that I made. Oh, no, here's the one that I made earlier. Well, let's watch that pop out. So this is slightly, I usually leave that to one side to air dry. You can see how it's cut and mm -hmm. creased at the same time and embossed. Now, one of the great ways of bringing these things to life is to bring in some gilding waxes and oh. that's what i've got here so i'm going to take silver do you are you are you have you got a thing for gilding wax oh i have on black especially yeah I'm indeed and, and it's it's absolutely the best way to bring this out now i'm looking around me i'm pretending that i'm doing stuff by moving stuff around but i'm actually wondering where i put my post-it notes <laughs> but no it's okay because i like to work with post-it notes but you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do something slightly different and what i'm going to do is bring up a card that's underneath okay. oh do you know what brandon brandon on the camera he 
whatever I asked for, if I asked for a white elephant, he would pull it out of nowhere. The man is an absolute <laughs> genius. Thank you, Brennan. I appreciate that. I really do. I'll so what I'm going to do now, the reason I use post-it notes right. is because sometimes when you use these waxes, you can get a blob yes. on your finger and it ruins your project. So use them to get a really even coating on the top of your finger. More importantly, there's not as much wax Ah. as you would be using if you took it straight out of the tub. I, yeah. So you're getting quite I often get that. a subtle effect. I, you I do. Get the little and it lumps can ruin and... a project. It really, yeah, that's right. Little lumps and bumps, which is the last thing that I want. But doing this, it means I can really dig in deep. I can really get into all that fine mm. detail, which Tim is so fond of in yes. these 3D impresslets and embossing folders. I can get right in there so it's quite subtle it's not in your face and that is the bronze now i'm going to pick it up with a little bit of gold so i suppose so we're using... we just pick up some of those sorry i suppose you're using the post-it notes a bit That's like okay. a palette like a paint palette there very very much so this one protects because you know it does get on your craft mat it takes some wiping off the best thing to get rid of them uh, because it's spirit based is alcohol wipes or anything like that now Okay. I know there's plenty of those around, sadly, these days. So uh, yeah. there's no there's no shortage of that, which has been very handy for me in my crafting, I must admit. So finally, and this is the one that I love oh. to bring everything to the fore. A little bit of silver, just a bit. Oh. Now, people wouldn't necessarily make silver and gold, but I think... I think it oh, works. You're inspiring just people to perfect. get their gilding waxes back out. <laughs> do that, please do. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful product. And with 3D embossing or 3D impress lids like this, they were absolutely meant for each other. So there's that. That's ready to go now. But what I'm going to do, I've actually done the same with one of my wildflowers oh. from earlier. There's one that I it looks made like earlier. Metal. Doesn't it though? It it really does. It really does. And I'm, I'm going to put this now. I'm going to put this kind of. It's going to sit behind. So let's get a bit of glue on there. Now one of our viewers and, has asked what glue you're using, sure. Pete. Well, do you know there's a story there? Oh. Because I found this under the counter. Now normally I use Sizzix Express glue. Yes, me too. But I ran down. And it was one of the things that I forgot to bring. And I was running up and down before the show. And I thought, oh, no, 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 I forgot my glue. But this one's underneath. It's actually, this is Aileen's tacky glue. Okay. Uh, which, which, is, which is a great glue. But I use my Express glue um, because I know where I am with it. it. It does the job that I need it to do. It really is fantastic. And it has that lovely precision nozzle as well. It, I must so admit, we'll it's my top wet glue. I've always said that the Sizzix Express one is. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's very, it's, uh, I just couldn't believe it. I, I, just as we started the show, I thought, glue, you know, it's always Sorry. <laughs> times I've turned up to do a TV show. That's okay. I've turned up at TV shows at times and forgot my machine. Oh, I've got my inks, what? I've got my paper, I've got my, you For know, everybody. the most obvious thing, I've forgotten my die cutting machine. It happens to all of us, but I'm, I don't suppose you've left it a five hour drive away. <laughs> Because my Sizzix Big Shot at the no, moment is true. up in Stockport oh, and I'm word. at the home studio. So I've got my Big Shot Plus, so uh, it's okay. Uh, right. But I am good. in love. Okay, okay. You know. Well, you're good to go. I, I've got one you're good at to least. Go. But we have a favourite, don't we? We do, we do. Um, I, like my, I like my original classic Big Shot. I also love my fold away. Now, you see here what I've done as I've inked. This is proper Tim Holtz. Tim would have been proud, with it, proud of this on his birthday. <laughs> All okay. Tim's stamps, Tim's distressing, so we've got that grungy look going on. There's a sentiment which was actually pre-printed. So I'm gonna pop that on there, and then I will take my lovely uh, my, my lovely glue and apply this to the back before popping it onto this lovely base card. So there you go, there's something that that's that's more wow. kind of Tim Holtz-esque. If you're a fan of Tim's work. Uh, you'll know what's going on there. That's so that was a lot of fun using those two. Amazing. That just looks I as if you you've like got very expensive metal embellishments on your card. The sort yes. that you buy and you don't want to put on a card because they're too, you pay too much money for them. <laughs> that looks That's just... so funny because I'm exactly the same. I've got loads of stuff and I thought, oh, no, I can't use that. It's too good. It's too good to exactly. use. But, yeah, yeah, that's... Um, 
it's a nice little card. I'm going to pop it to one side because I'm going to do something really quick, if I may. And I'm going to use one of the, the same die cuts from before. And I'm going to bring in my alphabet. Now, let's take a look at these three lovely cards. Let's take a look at that alphabet samples. Now, this is that lovely alphabet. This is alphanumeric bold. Lovely. So we've got smile, sparkle, shine, Aww. using, again, a faux emboss. Then we've got this one. So we've cut it as an aperture and inked oh, beneath. Lovely. Then using it. A lovely opulent uh, non-shed glitter. Glitter is the new black. Oh, I think so. Yes. And <laughs> I think definitely. And um, finally, smile. And these are our wildfires coming in again. Sparkle and gorgeous shine. Now those are really, really simple. And we're going to replicate one of these. So I'm going to be super quick with this one. You find let's, everybody let's bring in... is so. Um... What's the, what's the word? Uh, it's complimenting how they can just listen to you for hours. So oh, that's very kind. Thank by you. all means, take your time. Everyone's just mesmerized I'll by what you're I'll doing. I'll take my time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very kind. Do you know what? I think I, my voice is quite deep today because I forgot my flask. And I haven't had a drink since half past eight. So oh, no. as, soon, as soon as we're done here, Brandon, we're going to get a coffee, mate. Uh, Definitely. Brandon's right. deserved, deserved it as well. He's worked hard for it. He always works out. Big thumbs up for Brandon. Yes. He's the man. So Brandon's so, on cameras now, today. With the um, sorry, I'm speaking over you. This Brandon is... does everything. That's okay. That's quite all right. Brandon's on post-it notes. He's on cameras. This guy <laughs> does everything. He's he's like an octopus. He really is. I could do with him um, here, actually, if you don't mind just, just popping him down to my studio. Yeah, sure. No problem. He's... Um, yeah, you wouldn't mind that, would you, Brown? There you go. Ah, it's a fun yeah. Brown. There you go. Hold him to it. Now, what I'm doing, I'm writing the word shine. And remember I said about how easy it is to get these letters to line up. What I'm using is Sizzix Maker's Tape. And this is right. a low-tack tape. It mm -hmm. comes in packs of twos. And it's roughly the same tack as a Post-it note. But it's got this lovely grid pattern on it. And that allows you to line everything up perfectly and it's great with an alphabet like this so we're writing the word shine on this one that has like um, really what i'm going to do isn't it great but look now you just pick it up you pop it onto the front of the oh, look car, at that. like so isn't it great and then when you take this away it doesn't leave any residue it doesn't tear the surface of your paper or anything like that so hence hence the um you know the, the low tech Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's why we need that low tech because when some washi tapes are a bit more viscous than others, if I can use such a word, and it doesn't quite come out. Right. Now, one of the great things about alphabets, and we were talking about maybe doing some personalized cards for folks uh, who win today. One of the great things about alphabets is you can make it personal you can make it bespoke yeah. you can make it perfect for the recipient at home uh you can put a sentiment that you wouldn't find on a start now shine or or say something like love you that that's a sentiment which is ubiquitous but if i take this and fold it i'm going to do some prestidigitation here because how about that instead oh. of love you love blue <laughs> how about that you can't buy that in the stores ladies and gentlemen boys and girls no you have to make it yourself with an alphabet set that was like but magic there you go. So let's do there's the shine. There's the, there's the one that we did it. But we'll work on the love loo one. Oh. Why not? Why not? So oh, Pete, let's... you need to send that one to me as well, then. It's it's winging its way as soon as the <laughs> show's done. It really is. There I you go. That. So we'll get a little bit of glue onto that. Pop that there. Thus, and we'll take some natural twine. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use my glue. I'd usually use a glue gun for this, but yeah. the. Glue is going to be just fine. And there we have it. Simple, oh, classic, elegant, pretty much like yourself. Oh, thought. you're so cheesy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that it? is amazing. Thank you. Those dies are fantastic because they actually work equally as well in the negative as they do the positive, don't they? Very much so, yeah. And let me, let, let's have a look before, before we uh, move on. Let's have a look at some other things done with the wildflowers. There you go, big splash of color. How about using Sizzix neutral cardstock? Oh, Lovely sil wow. silhouettes. There we go, ink background, Gorgeous. bit of a moon going on, a <laughs> couple of silhouettes. Um, 
a bit more some ink splatter sort of techniques there, just picking up that green palette. Mm -hmm. And then finally, lots of white space, gorgeous sentiment, uh, could be simpler. Really there gorgeous go. sentiment there, Pete, really gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it is from my my stamp set, of course. So um, <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so so much. We've we've been spoiled today already with all the demonstrations. Um, I am right. You do have one more for us, don't you? We've got one more. It's a, it's a special one using one of my favourite die sets Excellent. and called Bloom from the Colorized Collection. So. Fantastic. I'll do a quick recap here, and then we'll come back to you when you're ready. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. I love that card. I'm now all giddy because I want to I want to get that card in my hands. It's fantastic. Um, so talking about the tape, I've got that in my hands here. Things like this, things like the the tools from Sizzix. You can get all of these over on craftstash.co.uk. It's really easy on Craftstash to shop as well because we do have a brand section, so you can simply search for your favourite brands in there, make it really, really quick and easy. So don't forget we have 15% uh, off of some Tim Holtz products and inks today um, because it's his birthday. So you just need to pop in the code TIM15, but all the details are on the front of the website. We also have something new that was released this week. I invite you to come back down to my craft desk for a second and have a look at these. So we have here some beautiful papers. These are part of our vintage papers range. Now, I don't know if you remember, at the end of last year, we launched Alice in Teal and it absolutely flew. We had the 12 by 12 and we had the 8 by 8. This week, we've just launched, in association with the RSPB, the British Birds paper packs. Now, these are luxury paper pads. We have beautiful backgrounds in here. We also have, of course, the bird toppers and the sentiments. And both the 8 by 8 and the 12 by 12, they are different, so you're not duplicating on the papers there this is this has to be my favorite look at those florals so these are available on the website now and also launched just today we have the art deco collection of course i don't have that in my hands because it really has just launched today so please go and check those out on craftstash.co.uk now one more thing i need to tell you about while pete's just i can see him busy in the background is still getting ready so i will tell you about something that's happening later today on craft world and that's the lovely lou withers is joining us at 7 p.m for a live it will be her first solo live with us we're really excited there because she's going to be launching something that has launching something that has just launched today and that is these creative dies now these are huge but these are basically for you to be able to create all your different size and shapes of stepper cards she's going to be showing you how you can get really versatile with these how you can be using them in different ways she's going to be making i believe a card and a journal page so make sure you catch lou because we know lou always gets messy with her mixed media that's at 7 p.m that will be on the craft Stash facebook page and also on craft world please go and leave her some love and some comments over there now pete are you almost ready for us to come back She's, he's good to go. There we go. So let's go back to Pete for his third, fourth, fifth. I think it's your fifth demonstration, actually. <laughs> My fifth demo. We're getting value for money today. You are, you are. Thank you very much. I'll hand the reins over to you. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Um, I will be, tonight at 7 o'clock tonight, I will be watching Lou Withers, of course. I love Lou. Fantastic. Great stuff. Um, and my wife will say, you're not watching crafts. It's a Friday night. Chill out. But anyway, um, <laughs> yes. I digress. Now, we are talking about flowers now. Tim Holtz loves his florals. As you know, we've seen the wildflower collection. The three others I want to bring to your attention. One is Bloom, which is colorized. And I'll just reach in and bring you and show you this lovely flame. Now, now colorized. I'm going to explain how wow. it works in a second. But you can do so many different things. That, I use the inks to get the colors so i ink card and cut different colors then this one is just using plain card stock from the sizzix range a couple of different card packs there and then finally we talked about gilding waxes before didn't we how about that oh. that's just black card multi-layered and you're getting a, a, like a faux embossed effect stunning there. so that is the colorized bloom set now oh. how about these two are 
brushstroke number one and number two. Stylistically, they work together. So you could use both sets mm -hmm. or you can use them independently. There's lots of lovely foliage there. Again, we created the gut. Now, Tim's inspiration for this was watercolored flowers. Yes. So that's where all the shapes come from. And I'll show you a few more samples, sort of a bit more stripped back, a bit more simple. There we've got a little, um, a little bit of inking there. How about, again, just Sizzix cardstock, this plain card. Then here we've used now this lovely background. That's a flowery dye. Uh, wow. Maybe we'll take a look at that later on. And then how about that life surprise you? Simplicity it's itself. And finally, we're talking about the opulence before. There we are. There's some lovely glitter cards, some uh, oh. mirror, well, not mirror card, actually. You know, that's pearlized card, isn't it? But that's from our opulence range. So there you go. There's a, there's a bit of inspiration using these sets. Um, but I'm going to be looking at the Bloom Colorized set. And I pre-cut much of it. But what is Colorized? You might have seen the name when you've been looking at Tim's stuff. You might, wondered, might have wondered what makes Colorized different to the other dyes. Well, basically, basically, I like to think it the best way is like painting by numbers with cardstock and with color. Okay. Um, did you come up with that phrase, Brandon? Brandon said that. Brandon was the first person who actually said that. And I've been stealing it ever since. So. There we go. Well done, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. He's, he's, a, he's a wordsmith as well. So there you go. There's my, uh, there's my die cuts. Now, one of the great things about Colorize, and let me show you the back of one of these dies, because you can see here, it has etched on it a number and a color so that's a color suggestion it says flower pink number two so that's layer number two now if i take the first die this is the base die that is flower pink number one ah. so you know you know by looking at the dies how to layer it up which tones to use but you know what that's just a serving suggestion when they say of pink course. i've used ivory so but you can see hopefully when i twist this to catch the light it has etch lines in it right. which are embossed from the die so then when you come for your next layer you know exactly where to place it so there's no there's no guesswork there it's all very very straightforward and let's take the other die cut out so i'm using a couple of different pinks as well it's all about layering it's all mm -hmm. about getting that kind of dimension going on there so now brandon very i told you i told you this guy he can get anything. He's he got it. me some express glue, which we had in the room. He found it, which is which is great, great news. It goes on so much, so much neater onto onto the craft mat when you're doing this this technique. It, it's, now I can see the lines in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I know exactly where that is to be placed, which Perfect. is fantastic. Now here's some uh, other pre-cut bits. This is for the center. And I know that's going by there. Mm -hmm. I suppose I'll once you've done yellow. this, so all... sorry, once you've done this a couple no, of times, fine. you'll know which layer goes where really quickly, and you oh. can just do them without looking. Do you know it's funny? It's funny you should say that because this is the second time that I've actually done this flower. So oh. when you say a couple of times, yeah, I, I mean, when I when I first looked at it, I thought, right, what goes where? But you can see from the shapes, you can see exactly yeah. uh, because of the previous layer so let's get that pink there then and this next one now beautiful. i can see and it's a it can be at times like a jigsaw puzzle. okay that one goes there yeah but there are full instructions of course with with all the dyes that you get mm -hmm. um so it will be fairly self-evident i i hope um then this next one that makes a lovely that, that makes a lovely curve around there so that finishes that piece yeah, off. That gives it so we're not just it? sometimes you can work, yeah, you can work tone on tone like that. So mm. it doesn't have to be different colours all the time. Um, then this one here comes. I can see exactly where that goes. There we are. So, so it's building it up. It's building up the layers. That's quite a subtle blend. That one. You know, you can you can you can even ink. You can ink. Say you go from sprung sugar through. Um, uh, worn lipstick mm -hmm. through to pick raspberry so uh, you ink yeah. like that and then you die cut in different areas of that then wow. you can do exactly the same thing oh, but gorgeous. i'm going to put that there 
and I'll take my base card. And what I'll do is I'll use some 3D foam pads just to get this one down. Okay. And hopefully this time I'll be able to get them up. You know, there's nothing worse on TV when you're trying to get the backing up on these oh, pads. Oh, I think just not every, you get craft, every craft demonstrator has had the struggle with a camera on them trying to get the back of foam pads off. I think I'm you can't call yourself a real craft me. demonstrator until you've done that. <laughs> well, that, that's that's good to know. I, I, I can now... I can now put real craft demonstrator on my I business I think guys. the amount of <laughs> love and, and compliments that you're getting in our comments for all your tips and techniques, I think you achieved that a long, long time ago, Pete. Oh, that's, that's very kind. Uh, I, st I still love it, though. I still enjoy it. It's always good fun. And it's, it's, it's nice if, if people enjoy what you're doing. That's what, that keeps me going. Oh, wow. So there we are. You can see we've done all of these leaves, all of those bits. They all come in this set. And that's it. Just a splash of color, just playing card stock, no fancy techniques, just stick, place, Bob's your uncle on the black, get the colors to punch out. And there we have it. And That's that amazing. Is it, my friends. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. Could we have another quick look at those frames? That you yeah, let's do that, shall we? The, let's pop that we, one down. So. Just because we don't have these dies. So we dies. got brush strokes. Of course, we don't have the dies available, but these obviously, they show you the actual size. Uh, so that shows you brush stroke number one, brush stroke number two. I honestly couldn't tell you which is which. Um, <laughs> and the bloom color eyes in the middle there. So Fantastic. whichever you choose, it's going to be gorgeous anyway. So pop across to the website and you should find them there. And now, before before I put all this away, is it all right to show you a couple of others, which we, we've got samples of them, but we're not going to do a demo, but I'll show you of course. a few dyes, which I particularly uh, have been loving recently. Now, Funky Toadstools, Tim um, does a funky range, and they're more frivolous, stylistic. Now, the Funky Toadstools, I had so much fun with really bad puns. Um, as you can see, <laughs> love you so much. I make no excuses for these. I really don't. I'm completely like that. without shame. <laughs> and of course, I've used my um, my alphabet there. That is my um, alphanumeric bold alphabet. Yep. Then how about oh. this one? Thanks so much. You can oh, groan if you want. That's okay. Brilliant. I won't take a pen. I love And then these. finally, I think we'll give this one to Brandon actually. To a real fun guy. Oh, do you know How what? Brandon has had so many comments in. Um, I'm watching on has Facebook it? at the same time. There's so many comments <laughs> for him. People saying that they need a Brandon in their craft room or in their home. So you, I think... you do need a Brandon, and he would fit perfectly as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, massive thanks to Brandon as well. You definitely need to give that to him. No, but, well, no, I'm, uh, that would be my pleasure. I will. We'll, we'll look through the comments after, as I always do, so that will be great. Um, there's just one more. Now, flowery, remember, we, we talked about this, didn't oh, we? Yes. We talked about it at the beginning. I said about my flowery dye. Now, this is one of those backgrounds. And sometimes people look at them, and they don't see the versatility. I adore these dyes. Yeah. Now, take a look at that one. Now, I used, <gasps> I took the, um, the style of a certain perfume brand. Yes. Again, shamelessly. Uh, you recognize the one? Yes, um, definitely. It's so expensive, that stuff. Really, I know. Unbelievable, but, but lovely, nonetheless. That but is there you go. beautiful. So that's that's just using the whole thing with our Sizzix Opulent. Now, if you want to go with color, how about letting the color be in the background? Like oh. that, and putting a black, just a black die cut, or part of that die cut mm -hmm. over there to create that. Then, alternatively, you <gasps> could ink on a piece of card and die cut it. Pop it onto black, let those colors pop out. And then finally, our old friend, Gilding Wax. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a lovely one. Rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine. A great, Gorgeous. great uh, sentiment for the times in which we find ourselves. And finally, this one. Now, equally, that could be a bookmark as well. Yes. So you can combine a gift and a card. And that's pretty much me all done for today. You're almost done. You have on your phone, Pete, a few winners. I'll come back to you in a minute. If you okay. can find those winners' okay. names, and we'll announce them together in just sure, a moment, no if that's okay. Lovely. Um, I, I will come back to, to myself. Apologies for that, because we want to watch Pete all day, don't we? But we need to give him a chance to have a look at those winners' names, um, and he will announce those. So if you are interested in this Chapter 1 from Sizzix, it is a beautiful collection. It is now available for pre-order on Craft Stash. 
only coming out next week so don't worry it's not going to be weeks and weeks of waiting it's coming out to you very very soon amazing prices as always on all of those you can see the entire collection there we also have 15 percent off of selected tim holtz products more details on the website as well on the home page there we are also going to have lots going on over the next few weeks on craft world starting with next wednesday we have the fantastic john next door he's going to be joining us for a workshop now this is an exclusive workshop if you've not seen the advertising and the promotion going about there is a kit that you can buy if you wish to be able to craft along with john now this kit is available on the website on craftstash.co.uk I think if you purchase it now you might just get it in time but if not you can watch this video back this workshop back and then craft along with your kit afterwards so take a look at that but that will be at 2 p.m on wednesday so check that out if you just pop in workshop in the search bar on craft stash you'll be able to find that and of course on craft world there's lots of details on there there is a blog post explaining everything again go on to craft world Com. If you're not a member already, it's completely free to join. You can just pop in your email address and a password so that knows that's you when you join and you can set up a profile and things if you wish. Um, but like I say, completely free. You can join in with people, expert crafters such as Pete. We've got John next door. We've got Phil Martin. We've got Sam Calcott. All the big names that you know and love all crafting over there and sharing inspiration as well as your own inspiration in our galleries as well. Now, Pete, are we ready to announce some names, do you think? Yeah. Okay, I've got the list here. Do you do you, uh, do you want me to go first, or would you? Like I to I, have I that will on? let you do all three if you want to. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll do it in TV voiceover, man. Oh That's yes, that. you're good at that. Okay. Number one, Christine Davis. <laughs> Number two, and that's from YouTube. Number two, Samantha Butler, from Facebook. <laughs> and the next one, now there's a dash in the middle. It says Angela Hook. Ook. That's double OK. Now, there's, there's like, a, um, I think there may be a misspelling because there's kind of like a, 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 a dash there. And that's from Craft World. But what I will be personalizing. So thank you, for Samantha, for having such a long name. <laughs> so it's going to take me ages to line up those Can letters. Can we do a Sam? But it's absolutely my... No, well, as she's put Samantha, I, I wouldn't mind in case she's not a Sam. You've got to be careful with these things, Lou. You yeah, really OK. So that's okay. Christine, Samantha, and Angela. Uh, they will have... One of those cars, very much like the one I did with Love, Love Lou on it, winging their way to them shortly. Oh, I'm, I'm sure all three of them are as excited as I would be if I was winning one. Um, <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so, so much, Pete, for joining us and showing us all the products. And it's a pleasure. All of your demonstrations. I think I lost count. It was about five in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, about five we did, something like that, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so it was much. As, it was as much fun for me as it was for you, Sam. <laughs> Lovely. Well, hopefully we'll have you back very, very soon on Craft World and on the Craft Stash page as well. So um, take care of yourself. Um, stay healthy. Thank you and very much. We'll see you again uh, soon. We will. Okay, take it easy. Thanks very much, Luke. Thank you. Bye-bye. And bye to Brandon as well. <laughs> bye, Brandon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. So thank you very much to both of them. I'm sure you've all left some wonderful comments for them to go and read, but I appreciate what you're saying. Pete actually does the very best demonstrations and it's always such a pleasure to have him on Craft World Live on a Friday or any other day of the week, of course. Um, like I say, we have got Lou Withers joining us at 7pm. You can join her here on your Facebook page on Craft Stash or on Craft World as well. She will be live doing some fun mixed media type journaling and card making using those brand new dies from creative now you know from creative they're exclusive to craft stash designed in-house at craft stash as well so you've got fantastic designs at a tiddly tiny price that's the idea with creative brands so you know you're not going to be paying much for those at all go and check those out and make sure you join lou send her lots of love um i'll be in the comments so i'll be chatting away to you there as well at 7 p.m so have a fantastic weekend everybody thank you so much for joining us and we will see you again next friday again